Hey, Tony Visconti here. I just wanted to thank you for checking in on our house on falling waters. Today we're going to talk about a couple of things that we're doing special in our houses that most people don't do. This house is pretty intricate compared to what we do with our lighting. We make sure that all of our lighting lines up. We streamline all our can lights so they hit dead center. The dome in our entryway is a beautiful architectural marvel. It's all handcrafted. We build them and we stand them all up on the ceiling. We do it from scaffold 28 feet up in the air and we use a crew of men up there. And it takes over a week and a half to frame it, fill it, and block it. When you look up, you can see all of our chimneys are built out of CMU block. The legs that stand up on each side of every chimney, all four sides, we secure it with steel angle iron and rebar. Then we'll come back after the chimney caps are on and we will stucco the CMU block and then we will fill inside the holes with cut roofing tile to give a beautiful look of something you would see somewhere in a villa in Italy. The cast stone finials we have on the front elevation of this house is another beautiful architectural piece. These are very intricate pieces that we put up there. The weight is extremely heavy, so each one of these finials have to be framed and the weight has to be distributed to the plates and from the top plates all the way to the foundation. This will carry the weight of these finials and then we have to anchor them in with steel rebar and LVL beams. Next time we're out here, I want to talk to you about the engineering marvel that went into building this cabana so it would cantilever over the wall and we can overlook this beautiful lake we have behind us. And we're going to talk about how we attach the breezeway. 